Welcome back to One Minute Wednesdays. One Minute Wednesdays. I think One Minute Wednesdays, to be honest, have come to a natural but premature end in the, in the five or six I've done so far. Only one of them has been anything like a minute and all the others have been four or five minutes, maybe. So, what I'm thinking is that going forward, it shouldn't be One Minute Wednesday, it should be Five Minute Wednesday. Five Minute Wednesday. Uh, and I've, that decision's been brought on because I've just finished a, a Photoshop tutorial which uh, is all about reflections and I was trying to make it a minute long so I was rushing through trying to talk as fast as possible and even then it's ended up being five minutes so I just thought well, just five minute Wednesday and then some weeks you know if I'm struggling to fill five minutes then I can just put a load of useless b-roll in it like I usually do um, or, or just waffle like this I'm sure I can make it up to five minutes but getting down to one minute was always tough so that's the change let me know what you think and uh, yeah I hope this reflections tutorial is useful uh, whether it is or it isn't, I'll hopefully see you next week for another five minute Wednesday. Yeah. Right, reflections. Here's an image I got at the beach this morning, uh, and I'm going to try and do a good reflection on this water in as few steps as possible. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, create a new layer. I'm going to put that at the bottom, and I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool, which is here somewhere, um, and just grab one of these blues in the sky, and I'm going to go to edit, fill, and I'm just going to fill it with the foreground colour so that we've got the blue there. I'm then going to go to uh, my rectangular marquee tool and grab everything above the horizon and then go, uh, oh, is that above the horizon? Yeah, it's pretty good. Go Command and Control C and V. That's going to copy the selection onto a new layer. I'm then going to go Edit, uh, Transform, Flip Vertical. I'm then going to drag that down to where it should be to meet the horizon. Um, I'm going to add a motion blur, but before I do that, I'm going to convert to Smart Object, and then I'm going to go Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, I'm going to make sure the angle is about 90 degrees, and yeah, the pixel's about 30 is fine too. Then I'm going to go on the Smart Filter Mask, and I'm going to go to my Gradient Tool, I'm going to make sure that I'm selected with Black to Transparent, and I've got Dither and Transparency selected, 100% um, Opacity, uh, and then just drag from the bottom up. Uh, then I'm going to make sure that in this original layer only the top half of the image is uh, is visible. So I'm just going to select this top layer selection. Um, I'm going to make a layer mask of that uh, and then I'm just going to invert that mask. Perfect! Then I need to get a layer mask on this top layer and I'm going to drag exactly the same gradient out again which has just made a bit of this blue colour visible, just to take some of the glare off of the image. That looks a bit too strong, so I'm going to undo that, and I'm just going to do it at 50% this time. So, yeah, pretty good. Now it gets a bit more complicated. So, now I need to create a new document, and I'm going to create one. It doesn't particularly matter what size you go for. I'm going to go for 600 pixels in width, 1,000 high, as long as it's a portrait orientation it doesn't particularly matter. Um, then I'm going to go to, I'm going to fill it with black, that's what I'm going to do, don't do it in there. Where do I fill with black? Can't remember, edit, fill, uh, foreground with black, fill with black, and then I'm going to filter, noise, add noise, uh, as much as possible, perfect. Then I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, mm, that's a bit strong, two. Perfect. Uh, then I'm going to go to channels, red, filter, uh, stylize, yeah, stylize, emboss. Mm, I'm going to set this angle to 90, height of 1, amount of 500. Bam! Uh, then I'm going to go to green, and I'm going to do exactly the same, except for this time, I'm going to change the angle to about 180, it doesn't have to be exact. Then I'm going to go back to layers, zoom out this image, go to edit transform and perspective and then I'm going to just drag this out quite a long way actually keep dragging perfect then I'm just going to go command or control T to bring up the normal transform tool and just drag this down to about halfway perfect uh, then I'm going to save this as a PSD um, can go anywhere just save it on my desktop for now I'm just going to call it ripples Ripples, that's not easy about ripples. Ripples, not as a TIFF, as a Photoshop document, and save. Yes, I'm gonna go back to the original image, and with this top layer selected, I'm gonna to go to filter. Uh, what I'm gonna do is distort, displace. I'm gonna select 
Um, a scale of 45 and 45 is fine. Click OK. And then I'm going to go to this desktop image that I've just made, this displacement map. Click Open. Perfect. And you see it's created all these ripples that make it look like water. That's all. That's all very la di da. Uh, now, I don't really like what it's done with the back of the image, so I'm just going to go to the smart filters and with a soft brush, I'm just going to paint over like so. I'm also going to make sure that I move this bottom blue layer so that it only affects the very bottom of the image. Perfect. And that is how you create reflections. Mm -hmm.